Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, today being a Saturday, we offer this Eucharist in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Let us ask for her intercession. Let us ask that she may always pray for us, pray for the Philippines, pray for the peace in the world. To prepare ourselves for this Eucharistic celebration, let us humbly ask God's pardon and mercy for our sins. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body. And through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Tobit. Tobit called his son Tobiah and said to him, Son, see to it that you give what is due to the man who made the journey with you. Give him a bonus too. So he called Raphael and said, Take as your wages half of all that you have brought back and go in peace. Raphael called two men aside privately and said to them, Thank God, give him the praise and the glory before all the living. Acknowledge the many good things he has done for you by blessing and extolling his name in song. Honor and proclaim God's deeds, and do not be slack in praising him. A king's secret it is prudent to keep, but the works of God are to be declared and made known. Praise them with due honor, do good, and evil will not find its ways to you. Prayer and fasting are good. 
but better than either is almsgiving accompanied by righteousness. A little with righteousness is better than abundance with wickedness. It is better to give alms than to store up gold. For almsgiving saves one from death and expiates every sin. Those who regularly give alms shall enjoy a full life. But those habitually guilty of sin are their own worst enemies. I will tell you now the whole truth. I will conceal nothing at all from you. I have already said to you, a king's secret it is prudent to keep. But the works of God are to be made known with due honor. I can now tell you that when you, Tobit and Sarah, prayed, it was I who presented and read the record of your prayer before the glory of the Lord. And I did the same thing when you used to bury the dead. When you did not hesitate to get up and leave your dinner in order to go and bury the dead, I was sent to put you to the test. At the same time, however, God commissioned me to heal you and your daughter-in-law, Sarah. I am Raphael, one of the seven angels who entered and served before the glory of the Lord. So now, get up from the ground and praise God. Behold, I am about to ascend to him who sent me. Write down all these things that have happened to you. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be God who lives forever. Blessed be God who lives forever. He scourges and then has mercy. He casts down to the depths of the netherworld, and he brings up from the great abyss. No one can escape his hand. Blessed be God who lives forever. So now, consider what he has done for you, and praise him with full voice. Bless the Lord of righteousness, and exalt the King of ages. Blessed be God who lives forever. In the land of my exile, I praise him, and show his power and majesty to a sinful nation. Blessed be God who lives forever. Bless the Lord, all you his chosen ones, and may all of you praise his majesty. Celebrate days of gladness and give him praise. Blessed be God who lives forever. Please stand. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. In the course of his teaching, Jesus said, Beware of the scribes who like to go around in long robes and accept greetings in the marketplaces, seats of honor in synagogues, and places of honor at banquets. They devour the houses of widows and, as a pretext, recite lengthy prayers. They will receive a very severe condemnation. He sat down opposite the treasury and observed how the crowd put money into the treasury. 
Many rich people put in large sums. A poor widow also came and put in two small coins worth a few cents. Calling his disciples to himself, he said to them, Amen, I say to you, this poor widow put in more than all the other contributors to the treasury. For they have all contributed from their surplus wealth, but she, from her poverty, has contributed all she had, her whole livelihood. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, there are two types of givers that we can find in the Gospel. The first type of givers is represented by the scribes. And we can also include the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the religious leaders during the time of Jesus. They give. There's no doubt about that. They give. They give their life. They give their time. They give everything to serve the Lord. They are the religious leaders during that time. Nagbibigay sila ang iba sa kanila, marahil hindi nag-asawa, para maibigay ng buong buo ang kanilang panahon sa paglilingkod sa templo. They give. But they give sometimes expecting something else. Expecting rewards. They give expecting respect. They give while projecting that they are good, holy. And that is why in the gospel, the Lord is telling His disciples, beware of them. Mag-ingat kayo sa mga katulad nila. They go around in long robes, accept greetings in the marketplaces, they expect seats of honor in the synagogue and places of honor in banquets. Dahil nagbibigay sila, ini-expect nila na sila'y tatratuhin ng iba, kakaiba sa lahat. That is the first type of giver. They give expecting reward. The other type of giver is represented by the widow. Jesus has been observing those who are giving uh, to the temple donation box. And the Lord you know, kind of gave praise to this widow because she was giving pretend unpretentiously. Hidden. Tago. Tagong pagbibigay. Hindi niya ipinangangalandakan. Oo, oh, tingnan niyo, ito bibigay ko. Oh. Dahan-dahang hinuhulog. Maliit lang ang ibinigay. Pero ibinigay ang lahat. Nang hindi umaasa ng anumang kapalit. Pareho silang nagbibigay. Dalawang klase ng nagbibigay. Ang una, nagbibigay ng may hinihintay na kapalit. Ang pangalawa, nagbibigay ng walang inaasahan, kundi ang Diyos. My dear sisters and brothers, it's a good opportunity for us today, through this gospel, to ask ourselves, what type of giver am I? Kapag ako ba ay tumutulong sa likod ng aking isip ay tutulong ako para sa ganon ko ako naman ang mga ngailangan, may tutulong din sa akin. Tutulong ako ng sa ganon ay mapasalamatan ako. Kuminsan, ganyan yung ibang mga tao. Tulong ng tulong. Yung pala, may balak kumandidato. Yan. Di ba? 
Malapit na naman ang eleksyon, barangay, no, October. Okay? Mag-ingat po kayo doon sa mga kakalat-kalat sa inyong mga barangay. Tumutulong. Baka plano lang tumakbo o komandidato. Anong klase tayong nagbibigay? Nagbibigay ng may hinihintay na kapalit o nagbibigay ng walang inaasahan kundi ang pag-ibig ng Diyos. Amen. Please stand. We have one Father in heaven and one teacher, His only Son. Let us come to our Father, praying for all His children on earth, as we say, Father of the poor, listen to our prayer. Father of the poor, listen to our prayer. That those ordained to the sacred ministry may be faithful and sincere to their commitment to God and to the Church. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of, the, of poor, the poor, listen, listen to, to our, our prayer. prayer. That those in public office may offer their best in serving the people rather than their selfish interest. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of, of the, the poor, poor, listen, listen to, to our, our prayer. prayer. That the humility of Christ may pierce the pride and pretense of people who think highly of themselves. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of, of the, the poor, poor listen, listen to our, our prayer. prayer. That we may receive divine revelation in all its living power as God's message and not merely as human thinking. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of the poor, listen to our prayer. That the dead may find their peace in the risen Savior. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of the poor, listen to our prayer. In silence, let us pray for the intentions of those people who are requesting us to pray for them. God and Father of all peoples, we bring before you the needs of those who know you and those who have never heard of your name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through goodness we have this bread to offer which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. my dear sisters and brothers that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the humanity of your only begotten Son 
come, O Lord, to our aid. And may he who at his birth from the Blessed Virgin did not diminish but consecrated her integrity by taking from us now our wicked deeds, make our oblation acceptable to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of the, all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us, through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints 
who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb, Lamb of, God, of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
please stand. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Maria, inana.